Hello friends and welcome back to Queensville and it's been a long time since we have been doing anything new on the channel and I thought for a change of mood um, I would uh, do a react video to my first video that we ever filmed on Queensville. Um, this is a, this a really old video that we actually filmed on our very first I think this was the first thing that me and Chris have filmed on uh, Queensville. Now I have seen a lot of people do react videos, but we've never, I've never ever done one. Uh, so uh, this is going to be a pretty, very unusual video to do, but uh, I thought we'd give it a go anyway. Innit? Right. So the video that I'm going to react to is, uh, it's a, a video that we did quite a few years ago, uh, which was the start of our, um, was actually the start of our uh, Queen collection, what we, well it wasn't mine, but this is actually Chris's Queen collection. So it uh, kind of is a bit of a trip down memory lane of what we've uh, done on this. Now I'm actually playing it from YouTube, so I've actually got the camera set up on this as well. So I think what the sound right on it as well, so I'll turn the sound down a little bit. So uh, yeah, prepare for some, uh, something on it, and we'll see what, that's how we'll... Right guys, welcome back to Queen again. And uh, music you can hear the background. <laughs> Rainbow is on. That's the record I bought over at the time when we were actually I think it was the that was the uh, the compilation that we bought over. What the hell was a wearing at the time? Jesus. I have lost quite a lot of weight though when when I did this video. These were the videos that Chris did as well. In fact, I think I remember rightly, that was the night that we had nothing to do on that night and it was the final shoots we did at that place before he moved. Um, we actually, we actually, he moved from one of the places that we moved was in, uh, that was actually filmed in uh, in a big tower block where we filmed it. And, uh, and we, we, just, we were off camera we thought, why don't we just film your video, VHS collection and we just thought, let's do it as well with it. But uh, yeah, it was a really, really, it was a long shoot to do this one as well. It was really unusual. Um, so if anybody really wants to get your hands on these, I'm just going to keep these as well later on. I think Chris was, I think Chris was actually in the, oh, he was sitting there actually, sitting next to me on the couch here. He was very camera shy when we did this. He never, uh, he never really wanted to come on camera. He was never, he really was so nervous he said, oh, I'm on camera. He says, you just do it. <laughs> it was more than the stuff there. I actually still think that this video was the worst video ever. The, the actual Made in Heaven video. Still to this day, I still think it's, it's the most dreadful video I've ever, ever, ever done. Oh, they did actually, sorry, they did. Um, that poster in the corner, that cr that crow poster, I have it actually on my wall. Chris gave me that actually. Cheers, mate. Uh, the rest of the posters that you see on the wall were, as I understand, I think them posters have now all gone. Um, he kept some of them, but he said that he didn't want to put them on the wall. In fact, his new place that you haven't seen yet. Uh, when we get a chance to go and film it, you guys will be really impressed with what we've done. It's something that's placed amazing, much better. Um, but uh, it was very cold and it was really, the conditions in there were bad. They were really bad. Uh, so if you think and it was all shiny and glossy and everything else, it wasn't. It was seriously uh, really, 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 it was a terrible time living there. But you know, it's the same for his first ever living it was it was all right rare life seriously the worst video ever made no they're terrible i think we probably actually went for the total video videos first we never saw actually when we uh when we plan a shoot me because we don't decide what to do i actually decide with them and say why don't we get your queen videos out your queen collection out and we'll film it and i it was um by chance that we uh, we started it because the reason was there was all the Queen channels going around at the time. I mean, their shares now on, but when we started doing these ones, we just thought, why don't we start a channel together of Queen collection? You've never had a Queen collection ever in Britain before. This one being one of the most popular ones we filmed. Uh, this was actually no, sorry, actually this was the second thing we filmed 
um, because the first thing he fil ever filmed was his collection, which was the very, uh, the very first ones uh, that his CD collection was. And that was a painstaking job to film that because it was uh, five hours shoots. Uh, this one was probably the longest shoot uh, that we ever did actually in the nighttime. It was late as well. We did this. We did it about seven at night actually. There's Chris's leg there, you can see in the corner. He's, um, that'd be, that'd be no collection one was another thing that we, I have never ever seen it ever again. I mean, it was rare. I mean, that is a rare thing to get now. Um, I think Chris had just, I think he still got that one actually. And it was actually the very final VHS that PMI did before they actually came out on the DVD. And the DVD version, he still has that version actually, which was the one with the printed titles on it. Um, it's got a very unique really gem there actually, but he would, uh, H and V were not supposed to sell that one. Um, Queen Poster, I think he's still got that one. Uh, ACDC one, he's still got that one. Um, what you didn't see on the video, the laptop was on a table, and on that side, uh, where um, where Chris is speaking on this side, he, um, there was a record player there, and there was, uh, his bed was actually behind the couch, so you didn't see it, uh, so it was, uh, it was him. But uh, this is was this was probably really a a, 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 a really. I also think well, 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 Wembley that should have been on DVD that actually that that TV version because that TV version is a brilliant. Uh, and there is apparently another version of that kicking around in uh, Japan. Then they made a different version in Japan. Um, but that version is really still a most popular one. I think it's probably actually the most popular one I actually ever ever, ever did. And in fact, I think I remember that I bought that one. Me and Chris bought that on the day they were reissuing the box set, which was behind me there. That box set, uh, the uh, the rare live one. Well, no, no, uh, it was the uh, box set that came with the black one. I mean, Chris had had uh, bought it on the same day that got re-released in in, in H and V stores in Newcastle. You had to buy it from Newcastle. You couldn't get it from Sunderland. Um. I mean, HMV shops at the time, no, they were good, now, we're but they were bloody expensive. Video, like now they're expensive. And now we start doing torrents now, which is easy enough to download stuff, it's pretty free. free. I must have lost quite a lot of weight when I was doing this because I think I had been going on a lot of walks to his house. I literally, I had to walk all the way from my house straight to his house in the town. And it took 45 minutes to walk there, but it made a hell of a difference to me. My, my well, losing weight was unbelievable. Seriously, it was. I mean, I'm 40 now, obviously, but looking at this video, it was like 2009 it was. So this was, this was probably, was pretty still going at the time as well, which is cool. Um, I think my hair just got a bit longer there as well, but now I've shortened it down a little bit because my hair was a bit short and stuff. Anyway, I keep saying I should, I should grow my hair long, actually. I don't think so. Never happened. I think Greatest Hits 3 VHS was a mistake. It was a mistake. It was terrible. I mean, Emi messing up tracks and putting stuff on that we didn't really necessarily need. Um, but it probably was the first time we ever saw the raw mix of uh, Under Pressure, which the, v the, D the, the VHS, it worked okay for us. And I think Chris lost a lot of weight as well. I think he did. Yeah, the making of it is um, no longer available on YouTube now, actually. They took it off. Um, but I don't know who actually has that footage. So we're still looking for that making of because it's brilliant. Well, somebody did actually upload it in, uh, on YouTube. I think it was the first. I think it's actually the first time YouTube actually got lower in frame rates and stuff like that. But uh, we uh, we will no longer be revisiting those ones. We're going to keep them on the channel anyway because we were going to reshoot these ones, but we did. I didn't think it was worth worth doing it. Yeah, check it out. It's the not yeah. yeah. Well, they never. Well, they never ever brought. They're still ever on DVD anyway. Where? Where is it? 
was all bullshit, that was. But someone leaked about it and said, oh, we'll just pull it, we'll stick on an uh, old DVD. Yeah, there was a bit of copy like around, but it never existed. Oh, it's. Uh, this has been worn out now, I think. It's been worn out. It's been worn out now. And, uh, yeah, this is a Made in Heaven VHS. And, uh, from what I understand, what I understand, Chris, Chris's tape, that tape you see in that VHS, it got ruined, actually. The tape had got worn out so many times. And uh, I still think that should have been out on DVD, but they ne will never bring out on DVD because I think they are, there was right issues with it at the time that EMI couldn't put it on. And the DVD version of, will not be able to get on DVD, so there's no plans at all. Sorry, guys. But an amazing, bloody good video of two and a half hours of amazing Queen stuff on there, which is just the final ever... Well, I'll, I'll have to say, the closing of the ranks on that, that VHS, that's it, the final ever documentary that's official. And I love that thing. I love, I love the interviews from Holland as well on Tom TV. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. Best ever documentary ever made. Two hours long. Yeah. Absolutely well worth getting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, looking back on that video, it is really, really old. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I've got older videos than that actually from my channel as well. But uh, I thought, my, yeah, my reaction video, I uh, I think that was a decent video I had to do. Uh, as I say, when we filmed it, that, that time we filmed it, it was bloody freezing in the air. It was, it was like an ice block. It was literally like an ice block. It was really, really, really bad. And I uh, and I think that uh, for I think that for for the time that we filmed it in two thousand and nine. You know, I mean, I was out of work. I didn't have any work going on. And then I uh, started uh, upgrading. There was originally called the McQueen page originally. Then I changed it to Queensville, which has got the original address now. But uh, but I, I think looking back at that video, it was it was uh, edited actually on an old PC I had, um, which um, I don't have anymore, which, which got thrown in the bin. And it was a very old, oh, I'm talking about bloody... Uh, like going through the the, the demon ages, and I, and I edited it on that on that video that, that, that video, and uh, and I just learned about how to edit videos and stuff because I never learned I never learned how to edit videos before, and then I uh, started using uh, Windows Media. I think it was Windows Media. It was Windows Windows Movie Maker. It was that's when I filmed. That's when I actually did it on. Was uh, they were the days when we, Windows we didn't have Windows Eight. We didn't have Windows Seven. We had Windows Vista, I think, at the time. Windows Vista had just come out. And I think that's when I edited it on, on Windows Vista and its uh, things as well. So, yeah, I'd sort of share that with you guys. It's, it, is, it has been a... It was a, a grueling process of filming that. It was really... Uh, memory lane, nostalgia trip. Uh, yeah, anyway. Anyway, if you guys want to see more reaction videos from us, uh, let us know. Uh, please keep the comments coming in. Do please know, guys, that uh, Queensville's uh, re usual uh, broadcast will be back next week. So don't worry about that. I'm back with that. There's also going to be a few more updates of Queen stuff going on. And uh, and also, I've got an amazing thing to tell you guys in the next video that we are going on the next uh, Google event. Something special is happening on that Google event. I can't say much about it, but stay tuned to the Facebook page as well on it so I'll get it sorted out and there is a website being produced as well website is coming very very soon so look out for that as well guys anyway that's it for me catch you later